she my department head, and she basically was telling me that you know her her son is in a um a non deployable uh, military base, but all that's going to change, man. You know, cause that's how bad America's going to be getting jacked up, man. You know, and like I said, you have to look forward. These are the things you got to look forward to. And Donald Trump basically told you, man. Because he was saying, uh, one time he was in an interview and he was like, uh, this is the quiet before the storm, man. So he knows what's going on, man. He knows the agenda. Why? Because it was given to him, man. You know? But back in the book of Matthew, uh, 24, uh, verse uh, 34, it says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall shall pass away, but my word shall not shall, shall not pass away. So it's talking about heaven and earth. It's talking about your, your government. That's going to pass away, man. That's the heaven that it's talking about right now, man. And this earth right here is not that like, he's not going to destroy the whole earth, man. The same way he ain't destroyed the whole earth with, with water, man. It says, uh, but of that day and hour knoweth no man. Know not, know not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So that's how I was telling you. He don't know when he's coming back, but he's telling you to watch for these different signs, man. And that's how you're going to know that things are getting closer and closer to his return, man. You know? But our, our people, they, they don't want to, um... They, they don't want to know. They, they really don't want to know what's going on, man. As a matter of fact, this is the way the Lord comes back. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66. And, uh, I'm going to start at verse 15. You got a question, brother? Mm -hmm. You got a question, brother? Yeah, not a lot. If you do, just let me know, bro. That's why I'm out here. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start at... Uh, All right, I'm going yeah, to start at verse uh, 15. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. It says, For behold, Yahweh Shemel Shah come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with fire with flames of fire, man. So that's how, a matter of fact, and they show you uh, examples of that. And this is one of my favorite uh, uh, um, examples is that movie Independence Day, man. You know? When that when the chariot came and it was it was and, and was shooting lasers at, at at the people, man. You know? So where where do you think that they get that stuff from? They ain't make it up out their own head, man. It comes right out the Bible, man. And that's how you know that Esau knows the truth. <clears throat> but they 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 lie to you and tell you other things, man. Artist right, says, For behold, Yahweh Bashim Shah will come with fire and with his chariot. Like I said, the chariots are the so-called UFOs, man. All right, and then you, and then how you know that that these things are happening? Like they put it right on, right in movies in plain sight, man. But they sit there and tell you in the church, oh, when Jesus comes back, you know, he, he's just going to rapture his people and he's going to be handing out flowers and all that, you know. And then they give you that image, like the guy just walked past us a minute ago. He had a an image of, of, of that of Caesar Bouger. That's that's who. That's who Jesus is, you know? That's the, and first of all, his name is not Jesus, man. <clears throat> it's Yahweh Shah. All right, says him with his chariots, like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and rebuke with flames of fire. So rebuke is correction, man. And everything in the society goes against him. So the Antichrist is not just one person, man. The Antichrist is the state of mind, and your whole government is Antichrist, because what? They're against the Lord, man. You know, everything that they do goes against the Lord. It tells you in the scriptures that that uh, two two men are not supposed to lay with each other like they lay with a woman, man. And women ain't supposed to do that either. But what they do, they made it legal, man. So you think the Lord is looking at that, smiling down on America? And every time they be putting um, when they say their little speeches and all that, they be like, God bless America. You know what I'm saying? 
God ain't bless America. God cursed America, man. You know? But all he's doing is using these uh, Edomites, which are so-called white people. He's using you as a tool because you're going to destroy yourselves, man. You know? Why? And, that, and prime example of that is you see, you see uh, they got the nuclear weapons. You got Trump and Putin going out of Delhi, man. Trump going out of with everybody. So you think that they, that they just going to keep talking? No, man. Uh, verse 16 says, For by fire and by his sword, will Yahweh Bashim Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall be many, man. So that's talking about a whole lot of dead bodies, man. All right? A whole lot of dead bodies, man. And guess who going to do it? The Lord, man. Who y'all ignorantly call Jesus Christ and think it's soft, man. Because he says in the scripture, he says he's not, he's not going to come back and meet you as a man. He's coming back in his, in his heavenly glorified body, man. Why to destroy this place for the wickedness that it's doing, man? Because if you continue on in a society like this, like, man, like, you ain't even going to have children no more, man. You know? Verse 17, matter of fact, they teaching the children. They got, a matter of fact, I saw it on the internet the other day. It was a transgender, if you want to call it a woman or whatever, was sitting there teaching the kids about, about their stuff, man. That's confusion, man. You know? And that's, and that's furthermore, that's planting a seed in your child early on, man, and to, to make them think that's cool, man. So if you teach your children against that, then you're the bad guy. When all you're doing is going with the scriptures. And over there in California, they got these um these homosexual uh uh they 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 in the, in, the, in the government over there, and they want to uh, basically ban the Bible, man. You know why? Because it goes against their um their genderism or what they do. You know, so that that's wicked as hell in itself. You know, verse seventeen it says. They, they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree, in the midst eating swine's flesh, and the abomination on the on the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Howard Bar sing our shot, man. So I'm gonna read that again. Cause it's a dude at my job spot, you know. He an Israelite. But all they want to do, like, they, they joke around with me talking about they want to eat some swine and all that. When the scripture's clearly against that. Artist says, they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree, in the midst eating swine's flesh, and the abomination, and the mouse shall be consumed all together, save the hour by our side, man. All right, so, yo, the Lord, the Lord, when he come back, he not coming back playing any games, man. All right? This is the book of Amos chapter 5 and 18. All right? Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is coming back to wreak havoc on this place, man. And it, it, it's not going to be pretty, man. How 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 they try to uh, portray it in the churches and all that. You know? And the Catholics. Even, even the Catholic church, the Catholic church knows the truth, man. You know? But the Catholic Church is the false prophet that the Bible speaks of. Okay? Bear with me, y'all. I'm going to find the scripture real fast. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 18. All right, it says, uh, it says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, the desire the day of Yahweh To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. So that's like these churches, man. You know? They desiring the day of the Lord. Why? Because they think that they're going to be saved. Matter of fact, they already think that they're saved. You're going to get the attention you're looking for and the Lord come back, man. And you ain't going to want that attention. But yeah, man, so, you know, um, I'm going to read that again, man. You, are, you got a lot of distractions out here. And see, and, and, and guess what? It's always the woman doing that, man. Because these women want attention, but guess what? They're going <clears> to <throat> get all the attention that they can handle when all hell breaks loose, man. 
Because it tells you in the scriptures that these women are going to be ravished, man. Right? Because you're going to have, man, yo, I'm going to read this first, man. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 18. It says, Warn to you that desire the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to what end is it to you? For you, the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is darkness and not light. So we're right there telling you, like you got the churches, they talking about, yo, I can't wait till the Lord come back and we gonna be saved and all that. And they already think they saved, man. You know? Nobody is saved right now, man. You know? And I gotta bring that out every time. You gotta bring that out every time, man. Cause it says it's darkness and not light. So these people are gonna be thinking that when they see that stuff happening, <clears throat> First of all, it's going to be so much hell going on. When they see that, they're going to get petrified, man. Even the elect, because it says the elect shall scarcely be saved. It says, uh, as if a man did flee from a lion and the bear met him, or went to the house and leaned his hand on the wall and, and the serpent bit him, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not, and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it, man. So that that darkness and no brightness, that, that, them chariots are going to block out the whole sky, man. The moon, sun, and all that. The stars and all that, man. All right? Then it says darkness and no light because you ain't going to have no, no, no knowledge in those days, man. Because the knowledge is being taught to you right now on these highways and byways, you know? But our people, they, they, they want to walk past and don't pay attention. But when, when, the, when the famine of the word comes, guess what? They're going to wish that they stopped and listened. And actually not stopped and listen, just took heed to those words, man. The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? But I'm gonna hop, you know, since that little little girl came up here and wanna uh, you know, hop in the camera and all that. And like I told, her, I said, yo, man, you going you gonna get the attention that you're looking for. You know? Cause that's that's the main thing that women want. These women want attention, man. You know, they want attention, but they out of order, man. Find the scriptures real quick. But how she came up and tried to, you know, get on the camera and all that. I guarantee you. If it was an Edomite out here teaching a so-called white man, she would have respect for that, you know? Or one of her so-called professors out here teaching, they have respect for that. But they see a man come out here in a sackcloth teaching the word, they, they, they don't have respect for that. Why? It ain't no, it's not no respect for me. They don't have respect for the Most High. Yahweh Ba Hashim Yahweh Shah, you know? And they did the same things to him when he was on the scene. They didn't even believe that he was the son of the, uh, uh, of the Most High, man. You know? Salaki, I think. Come, come. All right, so, um... Matter of fact, we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 3 and 12, man. Get on these women real quick, man. Because our women is out of order, man. But the order, the order is coming back. Book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 2. It says, As for my people, children of their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they that lead, they that lead thee cause thee to err and destroy and destroy the way of thy paths, man. So who's the people that's leading you, man? You go to a church, the pastor's leading you, right? So that's when it's when it's saying it causes you to err, it's causing you to err. You know, because you go to church, they're not going to teach you the laws, statutes, commandments of the Bible. They're going to let you get a clean sheet, shave.
shake your hair up and all that. So you say you can eat pork and all that. Shrimp, crab, and lobster, but you're not supposed to eat none of those things. So that's causing you to err, causing you to go walk. Which is, which is, which is furthermore making a, making a lure mad. You know, I'm gonna read that again, bro. Uh, cause you to err. Yeah, E R R. So that's like error. You know what I'm saying? So you got a. Uh, this is uh this is Isaiah chapter three and twelve. It says for my people, for for my people, children of their oppressors. So the children is talking about the so-called white man, because they got them childish ways, man. The way they make their laws and all that shit, it, it's, it's completely childish, man. It says that women rule over them, man. So what do they do? They put the women over the man, man. Was that was that that's not the correct order of things, man? You know, so like if if you have children, you being a father, you know they take you away from the family. And the woman has the children, and they, and they want her to be single. What they do? They give her houses, you know, the PHA homes. You know what I'm saying? Give her, give her all types of programs. Put her on welfare. Give her cash and, and all that. Why? Because that's letting you know that that's that actually the government uh, being the father of your kids, man. You know. So the women, and then they get the houses. What they want to do? They want to kick you out the crib and all that shit. Matter of fact, they don't even want a man in the house. And they'll tell you that, because they'll come and inspect the cribs and all that. You know? That's how they do it. You know? So that's how you know the women is ruling over us. Right. You know? But it says, uh... It says, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh stand up up to plead and stand up and stand up to judge the... and stand up to judge the people, man. Right? So look, the Lord is coming back to judge the people, man. You know, just like when you go to court, you have a uh, uh, you have a judge. Well, the ultimate judge is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. And his judgment is capital punishment, capital penalty. A salaki, capital punishment, man. You know. So you can go to church your whole life and really don't learn anything, man. And they, they, matter of fact, they show you in that movie, um, uh, Birth of a Nation. You know? When, uh, what's my man, Nat Turner? When, when the preacher, they was controlled, they was trying to control Nat Turner to basically try to keep the people at, at, at ease and all that, man. You know? Try to keep them cool. But getting back on these women, man, cause 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 these women is out of pocket, man. But guess what? For for them being uh for it, it's it's uh it's a punishment for that too, man. Alright? It's the book of Sarat, chapter 26 and 7. Matter of fact, you know what? We going, we going to get it from the... I'm going to start at verse 1, man. All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 1. It says, Blessed is the man that hath a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be double, man. So if you got a virtuous wife, that's a woman that, that, that knows how to take care of the home, you know, cook and clean and all that. But nowadays, these women, they, they don't know how to take care of home, man. They too busy running the streets, man. You know, twerking in the goddamn club somewhere, man. Getting drunk, getting high and all that. You know? So these women, these women nowadays, they're not virtuous, man. You know? They're not respectable. They wear all type of, uh, uh, of um, you know, f fake, fake hair, fake nails, fake eyelashes and all that. They get fake, fake breasts, fake butt jobs and all that, and then got the nerve to ask and, and got the nerve to say they want a real man. So where the hell is the real women at, man? It really ain't none. All right? <laughs> and yo, that's the spirit right there. <laughs> that's the spirit that just manifests because you had a... Uh, when I'm talking about the fake hair and all that, what, what, the, the nigga woman walk past and she start flicking the fake hair, man. The flick of the wrist. <laughs> all right, this is. 
verse 2 says, A virtuous woman rejoiceth, rejoiceth her husband, and her and her and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace, man. So if you got a virtuous woman, you're gonna fulfill your the, the years of your life in peace. It ain't gonna be a whole bunch of arguing, fighting, and all that. You know? Because what the women quick to want to do now, they want to argue with you. You know, because you tell them how to dress modestly. modestly. So when you come outside, ain't no man uh, uh, putting their eyes on you all crazy. Because that's what men do when women dress like that. Then they got the nerve to try to come at you for saying something to them. You shouldn't, if you ain't want, if you ain't want nobody to say nothing to you, you shouldn't have came out the house like that in the first place, man. You know? So that, that, that's an extra strain. And then a lot of these women be having husbands, man. Are having men. And what's the first thing they tell you? Ain't no nigga gonna tell me how to dress. You know? But first of all, if you got a man, you belong to your man. So he should tell you how to dress, man. But women want to dress any type of way and all that. Out of pocket, man. Disrespectful to your men. That's why the most high is going to judge you too, man. You women ain't exempt, man, from judgment. The Lord don't care how big your ass is, man. The Lord don't care how big your titties is, man. The Lord don't care how beautiful you are, man. He's still going to destroy your ass, man. Because for one, the, the majority of these women in America are whores, man. You know? Uh, verse 3. It says, A good wife is a good portion which shall be given, which shall be given in the portion of them that fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, so if you fear the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, he's gonna give you that 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 virtuous woman, man. You know? That woman that 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 ain't gonna uh 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 put you in, in, in danger and be and be a straight up harlot. Well you know all if the woman has sex with more than one man, technically she's a whore, man. Alright? According to the scriptures. So that's why you can say all these women in America are whores, man. But you got some that, that that's tolerable, man. You can tolerate them, man. You know, but the nigga woman, and that and that goes when we say the nigga woman, man, that goes for the twelve tribe women, man. You so called black Latinos and Native American women, man. Y'all the nigga women, man. All right, it says, um, verse four. It says, whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart toward you, I will buy some I was shy. He shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance. There be three things that mine heart feareth. It says, and for the fourth, I was so afraid. The slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude. So then, that talk about a slander of a city. That's lying on the people, man. All right? What they do, they lie, they lie on the Israelites, man. Never fails, man. Every week I come out of here, man. It's always madness, man. All right, it says, uh, there be three things that I, that my heart feareth. And for the fourth, I was so afraid. The slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, a false accusation, all these are worse than death. All right? So it's saying all those things I just read are worse than death, man. But look what, the, look, look what verse 6 says. But a grief of heart and, and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman and the scourge of the tongue which communicateth with all, man. So a woman that is jealous, now why would the scripture say that? It said a woman that is jealous over another woman, man. Alright? Because first and foremost, as a man, you know, the Lord created more women than men, man. 
All right? That's why, but what, what, what America tell you, you only can have one woman. But overseas, all right? Overseas, that's where you get them, the Islam people, you know they got multiple wives. All right? King Solomon, what he had? He had multiple wives, man. Why? Because that's in the scriptures. Is that going off? No. But the Lord tells you, like right now, you're not even supposed to be, um, um, you know, uh, 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 really in the spirit of trying to get all these wives, man. But, but it has to be taught. You know? It has to be taught, man. The truth of this Bible has to be taught. All right, it says, verse 7 says, An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that hath hold of, of her is as though he held a scorpion. Damn. Yo, man. Jeez. Yo, that's crazy, man. I got to read that again. <laughs> it says, an evil, an evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that hath hold of her it's as though he held a scorpion, man. So yeah, if you got an evil one, an evil wife, she's shaking to and fro, that means she's going here, she's going there. She's all over the place, man. You know? She can't sit at home, man. She's so busy being up in the club, man. Up in some other nigga face, man. You know? So so keeping a hold of her, it's like if you get bit by a scorpion. So what you gotta do, you gotta let her go, man. You can't be around no woman like that, man. Because first of all, she's gonna cause a whole lot of confusion, man. And she can mess around and end up getting you killed, man. You know, because she'll be out in the streets, say some old fly shit to a dude. You know how niggas get, he get all hot-headed, then wanna come at her, you know? Then, 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 then guess what, she gonna draw you into it. All right? This is the book of Sarat. <clears throat> so I can tell the 25, verse 23. It says, a wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh in heavy content continuance in a wound, in a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress Make his weak hands and feeble knees, man. All right? That's self-explanatory, man. She make of a weak heart and feeble knees, man. So she makes you a, a, a weak mind. And when you got a weak mind, you tend to get feeble, man. You know? That's like somebody giving you an uppercut or a hook and your knees, and you, <laughs> and your knees start buckling, man. Like that song by SWV. Hey, I get weak in the knees. I can hardly speak and all that. That's how that's how a lot of these niggas get over these women, man. All choked up and emotional and shit, man. You know? When you ain't you're like, yo, man, you ain't even supposed to do all that, man. But that's how you know that these women ain't right, man. You know? <clears throat> 